Good morning. This is Kerry. I'm getting ready to uh, go out on some of the canals out here and uh, do a little fly fishing uh, for some carp, maybe some other species, but uh, primarily carp. I had a lot of responses from a video that I did in which I was uh, fly fishing on some canals and I uh, was using a popper and uh, you know caught some bass. Um, but I've had a lot of questions uh, about fly fishing for carp or tilapia and some other species that uh, you know uh, people see in the canals or they see in, in some of these uh, uh, subdivision lakes and parks. So I'm going to go out and uh, rig up and, and do a couple of techniques that I like that I you know I've learned myself and then some other techniques I've uh, picked up from some from some good fishermen around town that that uh, when they're not fishing for bass uh, or trout and they're fly fishing they uh, you know they'll they'll go after some of those big carp. Anyways, um, I'm gonna make some more videos if I land some fish, and uh, you know hopefully you guys can enjoy it. All right. Well, this is Kerry getting ready to get rigged up, and uh, you know here we go. All right, this is Kerry out at the canal. I'm actually going for carp on my uh, fly rod and a channel cat came up and hit my uh, my little fly. Um, first channel cat I've caught out here in the canal is fly fishing. I've caught other channel cats doing other things but I'm doing a lot of carp fishing right now and uh, as you can see it's a nice little channel cat. He's still flopping around and uh, you know I'm out here on uh, one of the canals close to my house Getting ready to take this channel cat off here in a minute. Well, yeah, I uh, told you I'd be out here doing a little fly fishing, and I got my rig here. If I catch a couple more fish on this pattern, I'll definitely show you guys what it is. Uh, sorry about my uh, flimsy photography sometimes, but I got to do this with one hand while the other hand's got the fish in my fly rod. But yeah, any, any, anyhow, there he is. Uh, pretty good shot. And uh, this is Kerry. Until the next fish. Catfish, and the next one will probably be a carp. They got some other ones I'm going for. Alright, folks. This is Kerry. I'm on a canal bank here in Gilbert. I have just landed a carp. He is stripping line off while I make some of this video. You can hear it on my fly rod. I don't know if you can see that line, but uh, I can't. Uh, I can't run this video and do. There he goes. I can't run this video and fight this carp at the same time. So let me get a little bit of this uh, line in. He stripped me down almost to my backing right now, and I got to walk this bank and catch up. All right, this is Kerry. carry on a canal bank. You just took me the backing. I gotta, I gotta walk down this canal bank and uh, and uh, reel this in and fight him a little bit. All right, out. All right, folks. There's the carp, right there. Got it on the fly rod. I'm using uh, today. I'm using a little glow ball. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that's one of my favorite baits. Is a little glow ball and uh, running a six weight rod right here but yeah I want to take a look at uh, the size of this fish that's my foot which is at least 12 inches long because I wear uh, I wear about a size 10 uh, foot right there so let me see if I can't uh, pick this guy up I'll lip him Nice carp on a fly rod. There we go. Alrighty. Alright folks. I just had a carp strike my fly. And uh, as you can see I got my fly reel right here. He's got, uh, well I don't know, only about maybe 
20, 30 yards line out, but he's swimming the other direction right here. Once I start to uh, land the fish or I get him up on the bank, I'll, uh, I gotta walk with him a bit, I'll, uh, I'll put it back on the video. All right, this is Kerry, carp fishing on the fly. Well, folks, there it is. That's one of the bigger fish I've landed in these canals on this fly rod. Just to give you some scale. There's my foot. It's uh, a little over twice as long as my foot, roughly. Just about. It's hard to estimate the size of this. Or the weight, because I don't have a scale out here, but... This is it right here. Yeah, I've got a... Got my fly rod. I got to set it in my bag for now until I can get this guy de-hooked. But uh, let's see if I can't. Uh... This took me right about 20 minutes to get this carp in. Maybe 25. I I lost track. But there he is. Big one. Big carp big carp and this is Kerry that was a good fight that was a good fight I'm glad my rig held up I'm uh, using a six weight with a 2x leader and I'm running the leader right to the lure which is uh, little glow balls and uh, just sight fishing for these big carp you really gotta be careful because they spook easy all right this is Kerry, fly fishing on the canals here in Arizona. Until the next fish, out. Hi, this is Kerry. I want to take a little bit of a break. I'm out here at the uh, canal right now, just um, taking a break from the uh, carp fishing. But I wanted to show you just a little bit of the uh, about the rig I'm using. I've got a, a six weight rod. I run a, a, a 2x leader, which is uh, that's about eight pounds, maybe eight pounds plus, depending on you know what, what brand you buy. And uh, if I do run a tippet, I'll, uh, I'll run it out of uh, a 2x tippet, either fluorocarbon, preferably, actually I try to use the leader because it's monofilament. Um, I do, I, want that uh, lure or the fly to, to float as slow as possible. Monofilament, it takes a while for it to sink, whereas uh, fluorocarbon sinks fairly quickly because it's, um, you know, it's, it's more dense it, and it's a heavier line. It doesn't absorb water as fast either. So it just sinks and I prefer that uh, lure to stay up a little bit. Anyways, uh, I use some of these, uh, here's some of the ones I have in my little uh, round plastic container. I've got these glow bugs. Sometimes I call them glow balls, but they're actually named glow bugs, and they're a variety of colors. It just depends on the water condition and the uh, and the uh, water clarity. And I also have what you see in here is uh, some San Juan worms, a, a, a variety of colors. And uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll use some. Uh, in this case, uh, it's hard to see, but it's a uh, vanilla extract, and uh, I'll dip that in these uh, these little glow bugs in vanilla extract and uh, you know orange, uh, a few different a few different uh, of these extracts. And anyways, I uh, I didn't have a scale on that last fish, but I brought a little tape measure. And on that net that I caught, I mean, you can see that that fish was probably almost the length of the net. So I'm sitting, he's, that last fish was probably sitting at about 24, 25 inches because it pretty much took up the entire length of that net. But anyways, I wanted to take a little bit of a break. And uh, one thing, if you come out here and you go after these carp, you really got to be careful. Um, if you see them eating along the sides, you can spook them very easily. If you're going to cast to them, either with a fly rod or a, or a spinning rod and lure, 
you, you really have to take your time, and that's not just on the canals. That's in the uh, subdivision lakes, or even even you know the chain of lakes, Roosevelt, uh, Apache, Saguaro Canyon. Uh, you got to got to be a little bit careful. I mean, they they spook pretty easy. They're really tough uh, tough fish to go after. Um, but once you land them, it's it's uh, pretty addicting. Uh, they're, they're big, they fight hard, and on a fly rod, it's very exciting. Um, so until the next fish, this is Kerry out here at the uh, you know some of the canals.